Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So uh, I got a comment on the previous video's comment section. Uh, a, you, a subscriber asked me about dark web, right? So what is dark web? What is so special about dark web? Is it safe to browse the dark web and so on, right? So uh, I have done previous videos about this, but uh, again, I thought it would be opportunity for me to talk about the dark web once again. Uh, let us consider uh, our regular browsing habit, right? So how do we browse the internet, right? We use uh, application like Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, Edge, so on, right? So we, we open the application and we type in a domain name, right? We say www.yahoo.com, right? So once we do that, we know exactly this domain name is going to one particular website right so every time we go to the same domain it is going to the same website right which means that there is some kind of a mapping for this ip addresses and the domain names right so this is something very simple right i want you to understand this so we call this as a surface web there is majorly three types of web so the first layer is called the surface web the second layer is the deep web and the third layer is called the dark web right so Right now, the focus is going to be around the dark web region, right? So what is dark web? Dark web is a portion of the internet that is not crawled by browsers or by search engines. Very simple terms, right? So it is a part of the internet, but it is not crawled by Google, Yahoo or other Baidu and so on, right? Other search engines. Okay, then how do I search on dark web, right? This may be a question. Let me tell you, there are search engines inside the dark web as well. So how do I go inside dark web? So dark web can be accessed unlike Google Chrome, Firefox, etc. For dark web, this popular application called Tor. Tor is also called as the onion router, T-O-R, right? So if you see an onion, if you cut the onion, there will be multiple layers or uh, rings, right? So it depicts that the data is secured by multiple layers of obfuscation or encryption techniques in place, right? So say for example, I send a message to you, right? Usually in a surface web, there is one layer of TLS encryption or SSL encryption in place. But there are high chances when you go to a particular dark web store, the number of encryption is very high. There will be three or four rounds of encryption that happens on your regular HTTP packet, number one. Number two, when you open your Google Chrome, right, you just start typing the domain name and it, it starts working, right? But unlike Google Chrome or Firefox, when you open Tor, once you open the Tor application, it's gonna give a button called connect. Once you click connect, first the browser will have to get connected to the Tor network and then only you can start browsing. What does it mean? It simply means that, right? So first of all, browser is connected to a safe web having a regular IPv4 address, IPv4 v6 address, right? But once you click on that, what happens is you are anonymizing yourself to another IP address, which you don't know, number one. Number two, how is that even possible, right? So there are so many end users who are using Tor browsers, right? Who are inside this Tor network. So these people who are using the Tor browser are actually acting both as a server and a client, right? So what happens is when I connect to the Tor network, when I say connect, you are a server who is having a particular port open and I am a client, I connect to that port, which means I have got connected to the Tor network. Am I clear? That's number one. Now, once I connect, I am part of the Tor network and I will have a service open and you as a client can connect to the Tor network onto my, my system, right? So what will happen is I will share my IP address to you. I will be using someone else's IP address. So there is a multi proxy chaining happens inside the Tor network. If you talk about Tor, you just have to remember one thing. Tor is made for anonymity, simple privacy, right? So when you're browsing a particular website, 
will the website owner or the uh, the administrator of the site be able to identify which ip is uh, reaching them yes but when you are doing that through tor tor browser your ip is already masked right this is purely for making sure your uh, whole browsing activity is safe and secure right so uh, on a high level if you think about uh, the torrent right to uh, torrent network if you notice it is t o r r e n t torrent right so similar to this we are talking about the tor network it's you know the functioning of uh, tor network along with the torrent files is almost similar because they all work as a peer to peer model number one number two is like you have a regular website dot com website dot uh, my website is www.vinodsendil.com right so it's a dot com website my company's website is www.digialert.com right it's a dot com website like that when you go to a, a tor network and try to uh, browse a, a dark web website it will always have a domain name which is some random set of strings with dot onion o n i o n what does that onion mean as i told you the onion router it's the tor right so it's a top level domain called the o n i o n onion right now if i want to host a site right uh, first of all what do i need i need to buy a domain name i will buy www.vinodsendil.com from where i'll go to godaddy can i buy www.vinodsendil.onion right so these are actually not sites that you can go and purchase on a Uh, dns provider or a name uh, registry provider so how are the websites even hosting such dot onion uh, sites right very simple so what happens is when you have tor installed on your system there is something called the hidden service that you can enable and you can map a particular folder on your computer to that hidden service right once you enable this hidden service using tor it will simply map a dot onion uh, url for your hidden services folder so it will immediately be now available for the tor network to access the uh, url as a dot onion okay you you may have a question if i have a dot onion website right will i have access to that domain name forever let me tell you again no you will probably not have access to your domain name forever because every time you restart there are high chances unless there is a reserved uh, pool of 14 days it may renew the name right unless you do not have a restart or something of that sort then you can possibly have the name for extended period of time but a dot onion sites usually are not registered on your name and hence it can be made available for anyone but it's most likely not how it works because the domain name is very long uh, close to 30 to 33 character long and uh, it's some uh, you know random mix and match of numbers and characters right so uh, in this particular episode we were uh, briefly talking about what is a, a dark web what is a deep web what is a surface web then we spoke about how to access a dark web right uh, and what is the technologies behind dark web and we also uh, now know how people host websites inside dark web and so on right so uh, please be mindful tor is uh, basically created for anonymity and privacy majorly uh, considering that privacy and security is of paramount importance for anyone on the internet right so consider that and please make the best use of tor network uh, not just uh, in technological point of view but also responsibility point of view right uh, in case you did like this content consider sharing and subscribe thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity